Greetings to you, my dear brothers and sisters. I have a powerful word for you. It is always powerful. Never take these words for granted because I do not take them for granted. Every word that I speak, I speak it while I mean it. Some of you, as you are watching me right now, deliverance is going to happen. A breakthrough is going to happen. Some of you will start actually sending me messages. You'll send me messages. Now, before I even start that, uh, the word for today, if you want to get in touch with me, if you need prayers, if you need counseling, if you need guidance, if you, some of you just even need to uh, just praise, just uh, praise God, uh, give your testimonies. You can send me your testimonies through my WhatsApp number. Also, those you can send me through my email address if the email address is uh, a more comfortable space where you you want you feel like you want to get in touch with me you can use your email you can also use your my facebook page all these are in my about section when you go to my channel you go to a section where it's called about section and you find the details that pertain me if you want to even to be a blessing to this ministry for the, through your giving you can do so there's a paypal account if you have other ways where you can uh, be a blessing just let me know through my social media platforms and I will direct you. Now, my brothers and sisters, today's word is someone has been stealing from you and you have been unaware of this fact. Some of you actually, of course, you are aware because you can discern the spiritual things. Some of you, God has given a spirit of discernment, but you have not yet developed. You see, uh, it is about development. Some of you, yes, you have the, the spirit of discernment, but you have not yet developed yourself in the things of God. Maybe you are on level one or level two or level five. And you have identified that, yes, there's a problem in your life. Yes, there's something missing. Some of you, you have done good. Oh, of course you have done good. But you wake up in the morning. Days pass by. Months pass by. You expect that problem to be solved. You expect yourself to see promotion or to uh, get that... Um, thing that you have been praying for, you have been working hard on, at the end of it, you are disappointed. You are disappointed. It seems you are almost there, but never there. Some of you are in this season. A season of frustration. A season of so much delay. Because there has been someone who has been stealing from you. They watch you while you sow your seed and then they come after some time and put their seed in to destroy and choke your seed. Jesus spoke of a parable of the wheat and the terror. This parable was so amazing that the parable begins and says that a, a man sowed good seed in his field. It is no doubt that the seed was good. The field also was good because he, has be, he had been doing it for a long time. And he knew that his results, at a certain point, he will get crop. He will get a plant. He will get a fruit. But the Bible says, while men slept, the enemy came and saw his seed too. Some of you are sleeping. The enemy is coming. That is why you see you should watch and pray. Some of you wake up all of a sudden at 3 a.m., 2 a.m., and you don't know why you're waking up. You think it's just your body waking you up. No, my sister. No, my brother. Your body ain't waking you up. It is God waking you up. Sometimes God wakes you up to pray. Some of you just wake up all of a sudden. Some of you, a sound wakes you up. Maybe you hear a gunshot. God is waking you up to pray. God is waking you up to watch. Go in your prayer closet. Even when you're feeling sleepy. Pray. Now the Bible says, while men slept, the enemy came and planted his seed and went his way. Now the servants woke up in the morning. The, servant had, had, the servants had a discerning heart. They knew that something had happened to the ground, to the plants. They knew that something strange was growing in the plants. Just like some of you have discerned, something strange is happening in your family. You have discerned there's witchcraft in your family. You have discerned there's a pain in your life. 
You have the saying that there's frustration in your life, delays in your life. The servants went and asked the master. They went and asked the master. And the master replied to them and said that the enemy has done this. The master was aware of the enemy's devices. He was aware. He was not ignorant of his devices. My brothers and sisters, it is time to watch and pray because the thief is coming. Bible says it clear that the thief only comes to steal, kill, and destroy. SKD comes to steal, kill, and destroy. That is his own goal. When he's done with that, he will flee. Ask yourselves a question. Why is it that the thief, the thief will come at night. Why is it that the enemy attacks you when you're unaware? Why doesn't he make his, his plans known to you? Why can't he face you when, you are, when you, you are looking? Why does he wait for you to sleep? Ask yourself that question. He does not want to know. He doesn't want you to know. He's afraid of you. He's afraid of what you carry in the inside. That the moment you realize that there's an enemy, he'll be destroyed because he knows how powerful you are in Christ Jesus. That's why you see he wants to keep you in ignorance. The Bible says it clear, my people perish because of lack of knowledge. Not because of the enemy, no. Not because of sickness, no. It's because of lack, lack of knowledge is the main reason as to why people perish. A lot have perished because of lack of knowledge. Had you known that about your life, you wouldn't have perished. But now you know, God is going to save you. Brothers and sisters, I hope this word has blessed you. I pray and I decree and declare that every enemy that has been stealing from you Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every thief that has taken that which belongs to you, I decree and declare as a man of God, it shall be restored unto you sevenfold in the name of Jesus. Brothers and sisters, it's the end of this word. I hope it has blessed you. I hope you have been encouraged by this powerful word. Until next time, shalom.